He said that social media is what others say about you and social marketing is what you actually post. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Tanner O'Brien. I am the founder and CEO of Benefic Marketing and a senior partner here at Action Coach in Central Texas. Um, we've been talking a lot about marketing and taking some lessons and applying it into our actual businesses. This week, we're going to start talking a little bit about social media and you know what's it like to be social media versus this thing called social marketing. Is it different? All that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to kind of dive into here today. So a couple years ago, I had a mentor share what he believed to be the difference between social media and social marketing. As someone that was just starting in this journey into truly like understanding digital marketing, what he taught was kind of profound. He said that social media is what others say about you and social marketing is what you actually post. So on the surface, this seems pretty straightforward, but let's take a moment and let's break this down. When we look at social media versus social marketing, there are three terms that we need to define social media and marketing. So here's how Webster's dictionary defines each social marked by or passing in pleasant companionship with friends or associates. Media is a medium of cultivation, conveyance or expression and marketing is the process or technique of promoting, selling and distributing a product or service. How interesting. So let's take these in reverse and dive a little bit deeper. Marketing, if defined as above, is 100% around how we get our products and services out in front of our ideal audience, our potential buyers. Now, I tend to believe that there's a bit of a softer of a definition when it, which allows for educating and communicating around our products and services rather than just promoting and selling. Ultimately, the end goal is the same focuses more on delivering value at the top end of the funnel rather than the perception of just going right for the buy now type of a thing. If there's to be a difference between social media and social marketing, then it stands to reason that when we focus on social marketing, we ought to be focused on a plan, a plan that is built with the intention of communicating and educating about our products or services and guiding our ideal audience to the ultimate realization that they may need the things that we sell. Marketing then is intentional. The key realization for me, the things that we post must have a purpose and tie into our long-term business strategy. Marketing is about achieving a return on investment of both time and money to grow the business. Social marketing, social marketing should be really no different than that. So then next let's explore media. When exploring the definition of media and marketing, there are two words that really stand out to me. Media is a medium where marketing is a process. The marketing process tends to be internal, giving us control, the ability to adapt and change as desired to achieve the desired results. Media is a medium, something that lives externally, and we typically have no control over. So it, media is a medium, it, you know, it's, it allows for expression. That medium can change over time. As we've seen, the medium of media has shifted from print newspapers to radio to TV to online blogs to social sites like Facebook to video centric mediums like YouTube and TikTok. Furthermore, these mediums will continue to change and adapt in the future, depending on how the use, you know, how the users want to express themselves and the things that they are interested in. They have that control. So understanding this provides context as to why social media is all about what others post rather than what we post. We can't control the medium, the users or our customers and the feelings that they experience. However, we can influence them. Knowing what we know now it becomes possible to add to our marketing ways in which we can influence what others say about us. When we can provide exceptional delivery of our product or service, this helps achieve amazing results for our customers and we give them the opportunity to share that experience with the world. Think of it this way. If you own a coffee shop, where people congregate each day? Where in the store is the social posting spot? How can you encourage your patrons to take a selfie of themselves, enjoying your product, and post to the world using hashtags and handles? This is an example of how we can influence media in our favor. Finally, we have to tackle social, which was companionship with friends or associates. You know, it's what it stands, that's what stands out to me in this particular definition. 
Media and marketing have both been around for centuries, but the dis digitization of social has not. When we think back to how many of us interacted as kids, so for those of you who are all early 90s babies and earlier, social meant physically going places to interact with our friends. It may have been meeting up at a friend's house, at school, somewhere in the neighborhood, at a playground, etc. As adults, it could be networking, it could be lunches, it could be at the local bar, coffee shops, you name it. In each of these scenarios, we engage with those that we spend time with. We strike up a conversation, we ask them how they're doing, we, we talk about like common interests, we learn about their friends, and we share experiences. Today, and for much of the last decade, social has moved online. The key to understanding social in the digital age is to understand it's still meant to be social. In other words, it's just as important for us to strike up conversations, discuss common interests, make friends, share experiences, and overall engage online just as it is offline. The most effective users of social platforms today are those that genuinely, that's the key word here, engage and interact with their audience. They reply to comments. They answer DMs. They thoughtfully leave comments on other people's posts. They send DMs of their own to like strike up a conversation, not to sell, but to strike up a conversation and look for ways to share in an experience. This creates genuine connections. This is what social media was intended to be. So social media and social marketing are really not the same thing and have very different outcomes for your business. I encourage you to think about each of these concepts and how it may relate to how you do business today. So ask yourself these couple questions. How can I be more engaged with my online community? How can I or my business become more social online? How can I encourage my customers to share their experiences about me? And what is my plan to use social, the social platforms in my overall marketing strategy? So as we continue over the coming weeks, we're going to continue to dive into your marketing strategy a little bit more in depth. We're entering what I like to call the developing your distribution hub. And we have really only just scratched the surface here. So be sure check back next week as we begin to break down how to design your ideal audience and continue to build your distribution hub. We'll see you next week.